Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you exactly how to make reels on Instagram step by step. And Instagram Reels was one of the biggest updates ever on Instagram in 10 years, and it came out back in 2020. And professionally, I make videos with these kind of cameras. I put these sideways, I make vertical videos for brands and corporations. And then I use Adobe Premiere to edit those. I don't wanna show you that, it's way too complicated, and 99.9% .9 of people don't need to know anything about that. I wanna show you how to create professional looking Instagram Reel videos right on the mobile app on the Instagram app. So let's go through this whole process step by step. Let's launch Instagram here. So let me show you exactly what you have here as some of your options, and then we'll go to the editing page. Let me go ahead and put something in the shot so we could use this to record. But basically, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna choose a music file. So select this option, and you could go ahead and search for music here, or you'll get some selections over here. So what you wanna do is choose one of those songs here, and some are going to have lyrics and some are not. And here, just listen to the song and pick a section of the music that you want to choose. By default, it's going to be 15 seconds here, okay? Then press done. Next, you could also change this option for the length of the video. So if you're creating a reel that's 30 seconds, choose that or 15 seconds, choose that. This kind of depends on what you're making a video about. This is cool because it lets you change how fast or how slow you record. So if you do 2X, it literally records something in double the speed, and then I could press the pause here. If I do half, for example, it's gonna record in slow motion if I press record, okay? So I'm gonna actually press X because I wanna reset this here, and I'll reset this back to one second. Next, you have this option. Basically, it lets you add effects, okay? There's a ton of different effects that you could add, and there's usually trending ones, there's ones that appear in real, and there are things that change your face, so you could choose those over here. Some are useful, some are not. Then you have this option where it basically makes things a bit softer. You see the texture on this table? If I turn this on, it's gonna make it much softer. And it's great for when you have your face in the shot, for example. So go ahead and experiment with that. And this one has an option that you could actually reduce too. So if it's too much, reduce it. If you want the full effect, bring it all the way up. Then this is actually how you record. So this is what I really wanna show you. What you could do here is decide when the camera stops. So that's your timer. I'm gonna go ahead and set that. Let's say I wanna record a clip that is three seconds. So you would go ahead and choose that over here, a three second or so clip. And then it's gonna stop recording after three seconds. It's very useful. Then the countdown is how much time you have before it starts to record. So you wanna choose three seconds typically, but there is a 10 second option. Then you set this timer. Now what's gonna happen is if I press play, it's gonna give me a countdown. And then when the countdown's done, it's gonna record. But as soon as it gets to the three seconds mark, it will stop without me touching anything. So this is really, really useful. It kind of edits for you as you shoot. Now, at this point, you could choose to shoot another clip. This red bar, when it gets all full, it's gonna take you to the next page, but at any time you could decide you're done and go to the next page. But what's really useful is you could actually, at any time, bring in clips from your camera, what's already on your phone, not recording with this camera. You could do that the whole time, by the way, too. You don't even have to record anything. But let me bring in a clip here. Let's say I wanna choose a portion of this clip, so I could go ahead and open it up here, and then you could trim it down, so if you, if you just wanna use a little bit of it, like five seconds or seven seconds, I could press add. And then if you look on top now, you could see I have the first clip, then there's a tiny white bar that shows where the cut takes place, and then the second clip, and then another tiny white bar, and then I still have this much space to fill out if I want to. So if I was to basically bring in something else here and do another shot, I could press record on here and it's gonna record another shot and I could pause it at any time. Now this whole time the music is playing, I just have it on mute. Okay, let's say we're done on this. We're gonna go ahead and press preview and it's gonna show our edit, right? This edit actually makes zero sense, but you get the idea here. You could have clips from the camera and from what you record with this app. Now here you have a few options too. Okay, you could go ahead and press the music icon and this lets you reduce the camera audio, what the camera captured, and increase or change the music here, okay? So in this case, I'm gonna choose the different song here and choose a different section of it and press okay. 
So you do have that option over here between camera audio and the music, and you could have kind of a mixture if you want. So if you still want to hear the camera audio, make sure this is up as well. You could reduce the music, kind of blending the two. This is like an audio mix in a way. Let's say I'm done with that. Then you have the voiceover option, which I love because a lot of times I record a video with this app, then I press this and whatever I'm saying is getting recorded here. Just make sure you talk really close to the camera or to the microphone, which is right over here. When you're done, press done. And you could see it created that voiceover that you could listen to then press done. So that's music and voiceover. Then you still could apply the different filters here. So if you want to apply effects and filters, you could still do that. You don't have to do that in the recording page. I typically do it on this page, actually. Then you could add stickers too. So if you wanted to add a sticker, just choose one and then place it somewhere. These are really useful because a lot of people watch these very quickly. So you could actually bring in stickers in and out. You also could kind of doodle with these markers. So you could actually write stuff this way. Let me undo that. But you do have a bunch of options with different markers and different colors that you could choose. So if you're a creative, go ahead and use these options here. You could undo them at any time. I'll press done. And then finally, text is huge on Instagram Reels. So I'd recommend you type out your text here and you have a bunch of options. Changing the background is an option. Changing the color to whatever you want is an option. So I recommend you work with those. You could actually turn that off. Then I'm going to press down. You could resize the text. You could bring it anywhere you want and place it like this. And you could select it and change the font too. There's a bunch of text options here for the different types of font that you have and make sure you choose the one you like. And let's say you're happy with whatever you made here. You could press share too. And then here you could write a caption and hashtags could apply too. So you could write your caption and hashtag here. It's not as important on Instagram Reels as it is on Instagram feed. And as long as it's under 15 seconds, you also get a stories post too. So you could share on your stories tab as well. In this case, I'm just going to share to Reels. And you have a cover option. So you could select a different portion of your video, the best part of your video to be your cover. And you could do a custom thumbnail in a way where you add from your camera. So that's really, really useful. Just make sure you design that correctly. So the correct size for Instagram Reels are 1920 this way and 1080 this way. So I do 1080 by 1920 if you're using Canva, for example, to design a custom thumbnail. You could share it to your feed here. You could turn this off if you don't want to do that. But if you do that, you could go ahead and crop the image a little bit. So I'm going to turn that off. I usually just leave it on real. Uh, I have Instagram shops here so I could tag a product. You could always tag people as well on here by tagging people. There are some advanced options that you typically don't have to worry about, but these are for brand deals here. And when you're happy, just share it to your reel. You could also save it as a draft and come back to it. Now, inside of the reels tab too, by the way, you could press this camera icon to jump into the same page. So you don't always have to press the plus sign to come here, but that's another way to get to it. And that's everything Instagram Reels has to offer. And they have updates all the time. So on this channel, I make sure I always update any app videos I create. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next Instagram update. Thanks so much for all your time. I'll see you next time.